When you think about premium noise canceling headphones, a lot of people will automatically think about the Bose QC35 or the Sony MDR-1000X. And although both of these are great noise canceling headphones, they're very different from one another. So which are right for you? Let's find out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can check out some of my other videos here after you're done watching this video. Something I've noticed about Bose products is that they very rarely or almost never go on sale. Although the Bose QC35 are a year old now, they're still selling for the same $349 and they still only come in black or silver. You can now customize your own Bose QC35 but for a very hefty price. The Sony MDR-1000X used to retail for $399.99 but now you can get them for as low as $328 and they also come in two colorways, black or beige. If you want to pick either of these headphones up, I'll have links in the description below and I'll keep them updated so you can get the best deals possible. Both of these headphones are over-the-ear wireless noise canceling headphones. They both charge via a micro USB cable. They both have a 20-hour battery life with noise canceling turned on. They both have an aux jack for wired connections. They both come included with a hard shell carrying case. They both can be laid flat or fold up. They both feature buttons so you can control your music playback and they both feature an NFC touch point so pairing with an Android device is super easy. But that's where the similarities end. Design wise, I have to say the Bose QC35 do look a little better than the Sony MDR-1000X. Build quality is also better on the Bose QC35 since they use glass filled nylon on the majority of the body, stainless steel on the headband and Alcantara on the bottom portion of the headband. The Sony MDR-1000X is made mostly out of plastic and a lot of these pieces are snapped together instead of screwed in like the Bose. This has resulted in the headband on the Sony MDR-1000X to come apart during my stress test. Granted, it was under a lot more stress than it would typically be, and I just snapped it back together, so it's no big deal. But the materials used on the Bose QC35 make them lighter than the Sony MDR-1000X. The Bose QC35 weigh in at 8.3 ounces or 235 grams, while the Sony 1000X weighs in at 9.7 ounces or 275 grams. But the 1.4 ounce difference doesn't matter when it comes to comfort. You can't even tell the difference when you're wearing them. But I did notice the Bose QC35 features softer and much more breathable padding than the Sony MDR-1000X. So the Bose QC35 aren't just more plush, they also help prevent overheating more than the Sony 1000X. And I did notice the Bose QC35 has slightly less clamping force than the 1000X. If I had to choose one only on comfort, then I'm going with the Bose QC35. When it comes to controlling your music, Bose took the safe route while Sony took a different approach. You can control your music playback, adjust the volume, and activate Siri by using the three buttons found on the Bose's right ear cup. With the Sony, you can do the same thing except you use the touchpad on the right ear cup. And it's highly accurate. All you have to do is double tap to play or pause your music, swipe front or back to skip or go back a track, and swipe up or down to adjust your volume. There's also a set of physical buttons on the left ear cup of the Sony to toggle your ambient sound settings or even turn off noise cancellation straight from your headphones. There are two ambient sound settings on the Sony MDR-1000X. First there's ambient sound normal which will pump in all the sound from the outside so you can hear what's going on. This is good to have for safety reasons if you're walking in the city. Then there's ambient sound voice. The headphones will block out most of the outside world and try to only let in people's voices so if someone is calling your name you'll be able to hear them. And then there's your normal noise cancellation setting which will block out everything. The Sony MDR-1000X also have a feature where by covering the right ear cup, the headphones will automatically lower the volume of whatever you're listening to and let in the sound from the outside so if someone is talking to you, you can still hear what they're saying without having to take off your headphones. This by far is my favorite setting. Thanks to software updates, the products you buy today can still get new features as they age. A great example of this are the Bose QC35. You can now share your music with other Bose headphones and you can now adjust your noise cancellation level through Bose's app. And Bose has been known to do a great job when it comes to noise cancellation. When using the Bose QC35 and Sony MDR-1000X in the same surrounding area, the Bose routinely managed to block out more of the sound. 
But here's the catch. Whenever I wear the Bose QC35 for a prolonged period of time, I always get a headache, while I don't with the Sony MDR-1000X. Whenever you put on the Bose, you feel this pressure in your ear like they have to pop, but this is just a noise cancellation at work. You also get the same sensation with the Sony, but not as much. So which has better noise cancellation? By a slim margin, the Bose QC35 do. But since they cause me discomfort, then by default, I'm going with the Sony 1000X. When it comes to sound quality, I did notice the Bose KC35 did have more depth to them, while the sound on the Sony MDR-1000X was a little more forward at times. But like I've said in the past, when it comes to bass, the Bose KC35 just leave you hanging. And I did notice at higher volumes, the Sony MDR-1000X did have much less distortion and raspiness and tinniness in the highs. If I had to pick one only on sound quality, then I'm going with the Sony MDR-1000X, hands down. Like I mentioned earlier, both of these headphones have a battery delay for 20 hours of playback time with noise cancelling on. But in order to charge the Sony MDR-1000X from zero to full, it's gonna take 4 hours and they don't feature any kind of fast charging. The Bose QC35 on the other hand, take half as long to charge and charging them for 15 minutes will give you 2.5 hours of playback time. That's a great feature to have if you're on a time crunch. Living with the Bose QC35 is also slightly easier since they can connect to multiple devices at the same time. So switching between your phone and laptop is super easy. With the Sony on the other hand, you have to go through the pairing process every single time when you want to switch devices. And since both of these headphones are using Bluetooth 4.1, they both have a range of around 40 feet with direct line of sight to your phone. Like I mentioned earlier, both of these headphones came included with audio cables if you want to use them with a wired connection. But the cable Bose supplied feels very cheap. But more importantly, the Bose QC35 has a 2.5 jack instead of a standard 3.5 jack. So if you lose the supplied cable, or if you want to use your own higher quality cable, you're going to run into some problems. The Sony MDR-1000X on the other hand come included with a much better quality cable and they also use the standard 3.5 jack on the headphones. Alright, so to wrap things up. I think the Bose QC35 look better, they have a better build quality, they're more comfortable, and they feature a watered down version of fast charging. But the Sony MDR-1000X sound better, feature noise cancelling technology that don't cause me any headaches, and they have very useful ambient sound settings and touch controls. If I had to pick one, I would go with the Sony MDR-1000X over the Bose QC35, cause they sound better and the ambient sound settings are very useful. But if you do decide to go with the Bose QC35, just know that there are rumors that an upgraded version of the Bose QC35 will be dropping soon. That's why I'm making this video. But if you want to watch my full review on the Sony MDR-1000X, I'll have a link in the description below. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, it helps out more than you realize. For more product reviews and deal alerts, check out jimcaddy.net. If you want to support the channel, pick up a shirt, and I'll catch you next time.